how do you replace your laptop battery and how easy is it really depends to the laptop easy said than done now this laptop's about four or five years old now if i flip it over now depending to the actual laptop uh in fairness that'll depend on how easy it is to change the battery so if i put this on screen these are some laptops from uh yesteryear now as you see on screen on the top left you'll see there's screws over compartments now and there's a little lever you can see that what represents a lock key now what you can do with them is unscrew them move the lock key and that would actually show you the components so in in some cases that'll be the batteries could even be things like hard drives and stuff like that the lower left you'll see there's a little slide lock there you can slide unlock there and then you can literally pull out the battery those are rarities on newer machines unfortunately newer ones are not even as easy as this one they could potentially have the battery actually glued onto the uh, unit itself on this one uh, it's fairly straightforward i haven't replaced this battery before but i have done a memory upgrade now i've been using this probably the wrong way i've had this on for a maybe like a year on constantly on running some seo software so what i want to do is replace the battery on this so i've started to unscrew some of the screws other things you'll need to do if you've got any sd cards in the slots take them out if you have got a uh, physical drive so as in a cd rom like that on you see on the lower right you there might be a screw depending on what it is there might be a little screw or a little lock you'll have to unlock that and slide it out potentially depends on the uh, your actual case now if i just go back to the overhead we'll see in this one so i'll carry on taking the screws i think what i'm going to do in fairness i did start this in the other room so i'm going to put this down because i don't really want to scratch the top of the laptop even though it's a few years old so there's two little screws again each laptop will have its own configuration this is msi gaming machine i didn't do much gaming on it uh, i think that one there uh, and again it's probably worth getting a little container to stick your screws in now one of the questions uh the reason for doing this a customer of mine said he's got a laptop he wants to or we were talking about creating content for his social media and potentially videos and maybe even live streams here there was a factory seal i've already broken this because i said i've changed the memory on this but under here that was covering a screw so if you have got something worth checking to because uh, again you wouldn't know there's a screw under there so again if your laptop's still in warranty uh you don't want to do this because it might actually void it um so if your battery's failing it's still on one warranty um go down other avenues uh complain and uh but in this one as i said it's a few years old so i've just opened or broken that factory seal because again they've done that so they'll know if anybody's opened it then so yeah one of the questions yeah I, one of my customers asked uh he's got a, a old lap not an agent laptop an old laptop about two three years old with a failing battery and how difficult would it be to replace that so in fairness his was straightforward he's had a little slot there and he could literally unlock and slide it out if i show you that there so on the top right literally he had something like that so he could slide that i think this picture was from cnet uh that's a website cnet it's a good resource for tech stuff and so all he had to do was on the top right slide that and then basically replace the uh, batteries to find the batteries i mean the various places you can get the batteries from um i've used something like um ebuyer amazon's quite good if you read the reviews don't necessarily go for the cheapest uh read the reviews because normally you can put your laptop model in so on your either on the front of your laptop when you open it or around the back it'll have you the model or maybe on your receipt the model of your laptop 
and then you can search replacement battery for that. The reason I went from uh, getting the laptop from Amazon because I could see the reviews, and if I had if I had got the wrong one, you can normally send it back without issues. Uh, some places are more difficult to deal with. So now I've unscrewed that. Hopefully I've got that. The screw itself doesn't want to come out. Yeah, the battery three. Just checking. Now this is where I, I no longer want to be using the screwdriver. So something plastic. If you if you're going to do this on a regular basis, you can get something from a company called iFixit, um, where you can use plastic running around you can use an old credit card or something like that i mean if you use your new credit card and it breaks it's just going to save you money anyway so now what we want to do is find the seam where the two are joins i'm going to go this way so what i'm doing here literally is Putting up some, this has got a bit of a plastic lip on there. I don't know if you can see that. I, I can't remember when I got this from. Maybe a post I've ordered, but something not too thick. All you're looking for is to lever it off. As I said, this has been previously opened, so I remember the first time I actually thought I was going to break it. Now I know that that's hence the um, the cloth. That's free. Now these are actually uh, on the case. So I'm, it looks like I'm going to have to slide the bottom over them. Okay, that's kind of, what I was going to do is potentially is that come off, uh, slide it that way. That makes sense because if you look at the holes there, these actually protrude, so these go in. So when I put the case back on, it will go this way on, not this way on because there's nothing here sticking out. There, these need to be seated in those holes. So if you just as you see to. to actually come out one in my hand so in this case slide in this particular one i would slide it to the right over these so if i move yeah, that should stay itself other thing while i'm here if i go to this camera you'll see there's a bit of dust in the fan and that i haven't got a vacuum with me but i did order a bit of a cleaning kit from amazon to do other stuff as well but my old desktop i had a huge tower and occasionally if you are finding some of your kits running slow and that uh, it's worth opening that up and carefully running a vacuum cleaner around it. When you get dust build up on the components, actually it does something called blanketing. So it actually, if you imagine a uh, dust like a fluff bunny is all over these type of things, actually keeps these things warm. And when your computer, particularly your desktops, uh, they have a much more aggressive fan on there. Once they're sucking in um, dirt and it settles on the components actually keeps it that actually keeps the components warmer than they would be normally so now there's the guilty party that's the battery so i'll come to that in a moment i'm just gonna give this a dust i don't really want to do it on the disc now i should have a vacuum in that one seems okay, that one's okay. So we'll... Yeah, 
careful there, there's a speaker. So we'll put that back down. So that's the battery. Let's move that out of the way. Here's a Again, don't have it plugged in. Uh, try not to touch anything with your um, yourself. Now this has been unplugged and is run flat, hence the change of the battery, uh, for a couple of days. If you're just doing it, what you don't want to do is get uh, shot by any residual power on any of the components. So avoid touching them, and if possible, if you um, Unplug it and make sure your battery is totally discharged. So I'm unscrewing that there. If I uh, let's go to that, let's move this camera a bit. So if I lift that up there, you'll see there's a screw there. Yeah, so we're going to go with that screw there. We're unscrewing that. Now I've kept all the screws together. Now, one thing to watch is if you are opening your laptop is to make sure, uh, in my case, I know all the screws are the same, but if not, put them around where you are or on a piece of card. So on your left hand, this is the top middle side. So you know where all the screws belong because some screws and this has happened previous on other machines can be longer or shorter so um you don't want to be putting the wrong screws in the wrong holes so i lift slightly because there's a groove there so if i lift that up so you can see i'm lifting that up slightly and that is actually plugged in there so I'm going to lift that. I'm going to keep it flat so I don't damage the thing. And just slightly and pull out. That's it. It's only a teeny little lift. It's so that's the old battery. So these are actually is that one? Yeah. So these are actually made of cells. Obviously, I need to. I'm not replacing the cells in this. You could go to the trouble of the one, two, three, four. I think there's six cells in this. Um. But I haven't got the time to faff with that. So that on the side, as I said, I got the battery from Amazon. I'll leave links to everything I've used in the descriptions below. Uh, there are affiliate links. It doesn't cost you any more to buy um, those things. So here, I think I don't have to do anything. No. So here, got the battery. Literally, it's just, yeah, that's it. That's seated. If I get the screw, if I remember rightly, the screwdriver is magnetic, always useful. Don't need to over tighten it. So that's it. Uh, everything settled. He, uh, here is the memory. So, uh, as I said, I did an upgrade on that, so I did add that. It's fairly straightforward to do. So, depending on the laptop, you may have purchased this. So, uh, you may have a SIM uh, there, so free, so you can do that, uh, do an upgrade on that. Uh, and you can also upgrade things like hard drives and stuff like that. But again, we've just been focusing on the battery. So, putting the lid on. Now, one of the questions I was asked um, by Martin is like, if I do the upgrade, will I lose? Um, my content uh, no you shouldn't do because obviously that's stored on things like your hard drives your operating systems also stored on there all we're doing is changing the battery so nothing's nothing's reliant on the battery to remember anything as long as you're not shorting anything so there i am here as i said so these are protruding protruding out so what i need to do is pull Put the case on this side first. So these are now seated in the necessary holes. 
just a case of snapping it back together. So again, reverse, I'm pulling the screws in. Now, what I would tend to do is not necessarily over tighten all the screws and probably work from uh, the four corners. I've just secured the center so I know that's seated. Work from the four corners and then it should be straightforward. Again, as I said, uh, I got the memory from uh, Amazon. Reason for doing that is if there's any issue, I can send it back. I mean, you normally got a good return. Uh, what you don't want to do is be buying some incredibly dodgy cheap batteries because then it's not actually saved you any money doing that. Cost wise, if you didn't want to do it, um, batteries vary. Uh, this was £42. You can buy, depending on your laptop and that, batteries can be anything from £30 to a hundred pounds uh that's to buy the battery to actually have it fitted i did have some notes here if i get my computer on screen so uh laptop replacements on average for a windows about 159 these are averages obviously 159 pounds or an apple is about 179 pounds and again that varies so $200 to $230. DIY, you're looking at $30 to £40 pounds to start off as a start, depending on your laptop and the batteries. As I said, this was $40. i have seen uh, batteries a bit more expensive than that. And you can buy Apple batteries for some of the Intel-based machines. I haven't seen them. Uh, yeah, I haven't replaced any of the M batteries and those for the new M, M chips on the Apple. But those batteries cost you anything from 60 to 80 pounds on an Apple, but they're glued down. And some of the thinner laptops, again, they don't necessarily have an easy exchange uh, mechanism for changing the batteries. Some of them are all literally glued down. So most laptops have their own different way of doing it. This is MSI. There's a nice little um, slot there for the batteries. As I said, some of them you can slide them out and push them out. So hopefully that was helpful. If it was, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.